what we're going to talk about here is uh, stoichiometry of gases. So remember back to chapter 9 when uh, we were able to calculate moles of something produced from moles of A. So I'm just reading the notes right here using reaction stoichiometry. You can do the same thing with the volume of gases. You can calculate the volume ratio of A to B um, using liters, using volume. Okay. So let's take an example. Here we have this equation right here that says one molecule of propane or one mole of propane will react with five of oxygen to produce three carbon dioxide and four water. Now, um, you can do the same uh, equation when talking about liters. One liter of propane will react with five liters of oxygen to make three liters of carbon dioxide and four liters of water. Okay, so here's the question. Um, if we assume that all uh, our volume measurements are made at STP, what would be the volume in liters of oxygen required for the complete combustion of propane, uh, 0.35 liters of propane? Then what would be the volume of carbon dioxide produced in the reaction? All right. So the givens are the balanced chemical equation and the volume of propane, 0.35 liters. Unknown is volume of oxygen and volume of carbon dioxide. All right. So part A, we're going to start with 0.35 liters of propane. We're going to multiply it by the molar ratio, 5 liters oxygen to 1 liter propane to make 1.75 liters of oxygen. All right, so we got this ratio, this volume-volume ratio from the equation, the balanced chemical equation right here, 1 to 5. All right, 5 oxygens to 1 propane. Part B, 0.35 liters of propane react, and we want to know how many liters of carbon dioxide it produces. Well, the ratio of carbon dioxide produced to propane reacted is 3 to 1. So we take our amount of propane and multiply it by this volume ratio. We get 1.505 liters of carbon dioxide. Apologize, that should say carbon dioxide, not oxygen. 